Welcome to Water Level. Today, we are going to take a close look at the current water levels at Lake Powell and Lake Mead. These two reservoirs are the heart of the Colorado River system, and their levels tell the entire story of water supply and storage across the region. Instead of talking about outside factors, we'll focus entirely on the actual water level measurements, the elevations, the changes over time, and what the numbers reveal about the current situation. If you follow these updates, you know how quickly things can change from month to month, so this will be a complete breakdown of where both lakes stand as of the end of September 2025. The latest readings show Lake Powell sitting at an elevation of 3,544.85 feet as of Sunday, September 28, 2025. This means the lake is currently 155.15 feet below its full pool level of 3,700 feet. By storage content, Powell is only at 27.79% of capacity, holding just over 2.2 trillion gallons of water. Compared to one year ago, the reservoir has dropped 33.35 feet, which is a significant loss over just 12 months. The water year has also been unbalanced, with total inflows reaching just over 5.1 million acre-feet, while outflows have exceeded 7.4 million acre-feet, a difference of more than 2.3 million acre-feet. This imbalance explains why Powell's elevation has been steadily declining. The graph covering the past 12 months tells the story in detail. At the end of last September, the lake sat just under 3,580 feet. Over the fall and winter months, the decline continued at a slow but steady rate. By February, the level dropped below 3,560 feet, and by April, it was down to nearly 3,550 feet. A brief seasonal improvement appeared in late June when the level rose back above 3,560 feet, but this recovery was short-lived. Through July, August, and September, the downward slide resumed, bringing the reservoir to its current level of 3,544.85 feet. This is the lowest point of the year, marking a sharp contrast to the high point of 3,578 feet reached just one year earlier. Looking at the depth at the dam, Powell is currently 412.85 feet deep, a measure that illustrates just how far the reservoir has fallen from its full capacity. The Glen Canyon Dam has been releasing nearly 7.44 million acre-feet during the water year, which is just slightly under the required minimum of 7.5 million acre-feet. Meanwhile, the rivers feeding Powell have only delivered about 63% of their usual water supply for this time of year, which further contributes to the deficit. Switching to Lake Mead, the story is similar. As of Monday, September 29, 2025, Mead's water elevation is 1,057.14 feet above sea level. That places the reservoir 171.86 feet below its full pool of 1,229 feet. The lake has hovered around this level for several months, showing small rises and drops but no dramatic recovery. Over the past year, Mead's water levels have remained mostly between 1,055 and 1,070 feet without breaking above that range. The year-to-year -year comparison chart shows how 2025 stacks up against previous years. In 2020, the waterline was much higher, well above 1,190 feet for much of the year. By contrast, 2022 saw some of the lowest marks on record, with levels dipping below 1,040 feet at times. Since then, the reservoir has regained some stability, with 2023 and 2024 hovering closer to 1,060 to 1,070 feet. However, this year's 2025 line shows little real improvement, and by late September, Mead remains at the lower end of its recent historical range. Over the past week, Mead's levels have seen minor fluctuations, with the most recent data showing a slight increase of 0.12 feet compared to yesterday. While this small uptick is positive, it doesn't change the broader trend of long-term low water. The current level of 1,057 feet means the lake is still far below historical averages and continues to operate in a restricted range. When comparing Powell and Mead together, it becomes clear how both reservoirs are struggling. Powell has dropped over 33 feet in just one year, while Mead has stayed mostly flat, locked within a narrow band of just a few feet.
The key difference is that Powell has seen significant net losses due to higher outflows than inflows, while Meade has held steadier but at a historically low elevation. The interconnected system between these two lakes means changes in Powell directly influence Meade. Since Glen Canyon Dam releases from Powell flow downstream to Mead, the reduced storage at Powell limits the amount of water that can eventually make its way into Mead. This helps explain why Mead's levels are not rising much despite modest inflows. Looking at the raw numbers paints the clearest picture. Powell's full capacity is over 24 million acre-feet, yet it is sitting below 28% of that total. Mead's full capacity is around 28.9 million acre-feet, but with the current elevation, it is well under half of that capacity. Combined, the two reservoirs are storing far less water than their intended design, and the difference between full pool and current conditions is now measured in hundreds of feet of elevation. If we step back and view the past year as a whole, the pattern is one of gradual depletion. Powell began the year at higher levels, but steadily declined month after month with only a brief seasonal bump. Mead, meanwhile, has been stagnant, unable to climb above its spring levels, staying locked in a plateau of around 1,060 feet. For anyone following the numbers, these graphs and elevations show the ongoing struggle to maintain adequate water levels in both lakes. The final takeaway from the latest data is that both Powell and Meade are far from their full pools, sitting 155 and 172 feet below capacity, respectively. Together, they continue to show the lowest long-term storage patterns in decades. Without mentioning any outside causes, the measurements alone highlight the challenge. Powell is down more than 33 feet in just 12 months, while Mead has remained flat but low, signaling ongoing strain in the Colorado River system. That brings us to the end of this update. The numbers from both Lake Powell and Lake Mead make it clear just how far these reservoirs are from their full capacity. Powell has seen a steep drop, while Mead has held steady but at historically low levels. Together, the two lakes show the limits of the system at this stage in the water year. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to stay tuned for more updates as the numbers come in because every foot of elevation matters when it comes to these reservoirs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next update.